Today I am going to be quickly showing you how to very simply set up your own Rust dedicated server to play on. It's very simple. First thing we're going to do is just type in Rust into our browser and go on to the main page. Up the top here we just click on the FAQ. We scroll down to the bottom and we click on this bit here. And that's going to download our files for us. Once they're downloaded, just uh, extract them and then open up your folder. This is what mine looks like. What you then have to do is click on this run DS and then what that'll start doing is that'll download all of the necessary files and information. Uh, it can take a while, from uh, anywhere from half an hour to an hour or more, depending on your CPU and internet connection. Mine's already good to go, so what we're going to do is just click on that. And then that's just going to load up. While that's loading, I'm going to go to a different website, Rustified. And I'll show you the tutorial that I use to get this up and running. It's very simple. We just go onto guides over here at the top right. You scroll down a little bit and then they have a write up called host your own Rust dedicated server. We want to click on that. And then basically, I'm just summarizing what's on this page, but you can uh, read this in detail if you like, if you want to uh, go into some more complex settings on your Rust server. But really, all that you have to jot down to get it up and running to start off with is You want to jot down this. That's what you're going to use to log into the server when it's up and running. And then you want to jot down owner ID and moderator ID. Now this number here is just a placeholder. What you're going to have to do is look up what your own unique Steam ID is and then use it instead of this. So you want to jot down this one and this one. And then uh, basically you can read up on all of this if you want, it just goes into further detail how you can uh, fine tune your settings, but uh, that's irrelevant to us today. We can minimize that. And then basically we just have to wait for this to load up, and then once this is 100% loaded, you can then uh, start up Rust on Steam and then log into it. That's all you have to do. Here we are, this is what it'll look like when everything is downloaded and your server is fully up and running. Now you can minimize this uh, command prompt window, but if you hit the exit button, that'll close your server and shut it off. So you don't want to close it, you just want to minimize this. Just a word to note that uh, I'd say you can get away with running a server on 8 gigs of RAM, but if you're really going to have a decent amount of people connecting to it and playing at once, I'd say it's probably 16 is recommended 16 gigabytes of RAM. What we can do now is just minimize this and then we can open up Steam and log into Rust. Now that we're loaded into Rust, we just want to click on uh, the, the server menu here and then press F1 to bring up the console. Here we go. Now what you want to do is type in client.connect space local host colon 28015 and just press enter. Now that command is only to log in to your server if you're on the same machine that the server is running on. And if you just uh, use the default settings, that 28015 is always going to be the same. That's just the default. Um, that's just the default for Rust on the server. Uh, that's also the same number that we enter in when we go to port forward our settings. So now we just wait for this to load up, and then you'll be in. Now that the game is loaded, you are now walking around inside your Rust server. Here we are. Now before you do anything else, you're going to want to go back to those commands that you wrote down earlier before. I of course didn't do that, because I'm totally not prepared, so I'm just going to go back to the Rustified website. 
I take no credit for the Rustified Rider, by the way. I just think it's great to follow along. Now what you want to do is go back to the commands that you should have wrote down before. The first one you're going to write in, so just uh, when you're on Rust, just open up that console and write in owner ID space your unique Steam ID another space and then just whatever you want yourself to be called that's going to give you the owner privileges of the server and then basically just repeat that again but moderator ID space your unique Steam number another space and then just the same name as before if you want that's going to give you owner privileges and moderator privileges now if you want someone else to be a moderator but not an owner you can just redo this command but then change the steam id to whoever whatever friend you want to make a moderator or someone else but a moderator does not have uh, as many privileges as the owner so you really want to have both but only give others this one if you want them to do any moderation and then after that you're free to tool around however you like some of the basic ones are just uh, now you can no clip yourself out of the server and uh, fly around and go through the map and all that kind of thing now that you're an owner you can give yourself whatever you like and just another very easy command that I like to remember is uh, nobody likes spawning in the middle of the dark so you just go env dot if my keyboard would like to work env dot time space and then from 0 to 24 you can just make whatever whatever you want to make the time that'll take us to midnight you can just press up on your keyboard mine doesn't want to work at the moment and that'll bring you back to 8 in the morning and that's it it's not actually that hard if you know what you're doing um, look out for my other video if you want to learn how to port forward your server so that other players can connect to it and uh, yeah thank you very much for watching